and this could be a real cliffhanger because here is Dean Woods of Australia and on the other side of the track is Colin Sturgis of Great Britain. This the final for the Professional Pursuit Championship of the World. A call from the starter and they're underway, released from that special start and shouting his man along the track was Sturgis' father who will be encouraging him all the way around, looking at that schedule because this is going to be an absolute cliffhanger. Two ex-amateurs now turn to the pro ranks as they come round. The green light there is for Sturgis and he's got a slight lead at the moment. The red light will be the one showing for Woods who's just completing his first lap and there is the Australian in the white, the green and the yellow bands and the British rider in that new style Union Jack type uh, jersey. Well, we know that uh, this man Sturgis can settle down very quickly, Eddie, and uh, you've watched him in action many times. Do you think he's going to go for a fast one to begin with the first kilometre? He does tend to start faster than Dean Woods. It's going to be a very difficult to actually make a, a guess at who's going to win this. In the qualifying ride, Paul and Sturgis actually qualified faster in 5.54 to Dean Woods is 5.55 but then in the quarter finals Dean Woods did the fastest ride of the series with a 5.52 compared with Colin Sturgis 5.53 so it's very very close between these two riders and they're coming up then toward the kilometre mark and as they do so then 1.11.84 that looked like quite a fast kilometre and 1.35 seconds the lead for, for Sturgis that, that's a faster faster first kilometre than they, they both did in the semi-final ride so Colin's actually taken off a lot faster whether he can hold on uh, over this five kilometre distance, we've got to wait and see. It's interesting to see that both riders are riding two discs compared with yesterday with the windier conditions, they only rode a back disc. Uh, do these discs actually save any, any wind? Because, you know, I mean, why, ride, why not ride on the only ones? In fact, the, the front di the, these discs are more aided than a spoke wheel and they can make a difference of up to one second per kilometre, which can be very crucial when races are won in hundredths of a second. So over 5,000 uh, metres, that could be worth five seconds, but these two look just 0.33, and Woods is coming back. The green light shows that uh, marginally, but only marginally in the lead, is Colin Sturgis. As he comes down now, let's see how these lights go. This is a tremendous battle between these two riders, and it's 0.38. Well, they've raced together in the past, haven't they, Eddie? And uh, Woods has usually had the advantage over Sturgis. These two riders first met in the 1986 Commonwealth Games, and on that occasion, Dean Woods actually caught Colin Sturgis. They've raced since that in the Olympic Games last year. Again, Dean Woods was a victor. So there's a score to be set as far as Colin Sturgis is concerned. And what a contrast in style. The smooth pedalling of uh, Woods and the robustious style of uh, Colin Sturgis. And 0.29 the gap. This is so close. And again, they went through the, they went through the, the three kilometre mark a second faster than in their semi-final ride. So they're going on for a fast time here. And the gap is 0.22 as well. So you're checking the split times, Eddie, and it is faster and it's so close. We haven't seen a race like 0.04. There's nothing in it right now. Absolutely tremendous. Well, this is a fantastic race these two riders are putting up at the moment. And uh, the style of these two riders, they neither look like they're flagging. And Woods has got into the lead. And he's still by 2-2 two, two down. It all hangs here on this final lap of this sprint round. The bottom of the screen is Woods, who's got the slight advantage. At the top is uh, uh, Sturgis, who's really pedalling like a maniac now. And he's got into lead point, 8-2. And is he going to hold it round this final part of the course? And there we are, as Sturgis coming down the finishing straight. That's it, he's got it, and the whist up goes his fist, and he's got it by 1.66 seconds. Sturgis knew suddenly he had made it. What judgment. What a recovery by Colin Sturgis to pull back one and a half seconds, almost two seconds in the last lap and a half. It's unbelievable. And I don't think Sturgis can believe it. He punches the air with delight, but he certainly knows it because the enormous crowd cheering here. And there is Sturgis getting his breath back and uh, the British contingent around about him. And there, oh, that's his mother coming to uh, cheer him on now. She's been a great supporter, hasn't she, of uh, Colin? That's right. Colin's parents have guided him over these last few years to this title. And they've got to give him a lift as well, bicycle and all. Well, that's, <laughs> I don't think expected that at all. And uh, so the Sturgis family, elated with their son, 
winning the Professional Pursuit Championship of the world. And there is confirmation, Colin Sturgis, first to take the gold medal. Dean Woods in second place from Australia. And Regis Clare in third place in that uh, semi-final. We saw him do that fine time to get the bronze medal. But at the moment, that coveted rainbow jersey being handed over here to Colin Sturgis, who's continuing a tradition of uh, the professional pursuiters that the British riders seem to have done so well in recent years. We're going to look back to Tony Doyle and Hugh Porter as being great pursuiters. Of course, the Australians hit Patterson in 52 and 53, set the scene, but this time, unfortunately, Dean Woods couldn't make it. Second again for Dean Woods, but the man who takes the rainbow jersey and the congratulations from Louis Fluke, the president of the UCI. That is Colin Sturgis, champion of the world. Absolutely phenomenal, and the whole crowd delighted with the way these riders have entertained us. Dean Woods taking that uh, silver medal. I say he was second in the amateur pursuit in 86, second in the Olympic Games, so he must wonder what he's got to do to take that first place. Colin Sturgis, Dean Woods, that was one of the most exciting races we've seen in these championships so far. You two are the big contenders here. How are you feeling now, Colin? Oh, elated really. It's, uh, you know, lifetime's ambition come true. Uh, just fantastic. It hasn't really sunk in yet. I suppose it will sometime tonight, sometime tomorrow. It's worth all the hard, it's worth all the you know, hard work, all the effort. Dean, what about for you? Has uh, losing a race so closely sunk in yet or not? Well, yeah, it sinks in straight away, really. Um, when you cross the line and you find out that you've, you've ran second by such a, a slim margin, um, yeah, it's uh, hit you pretty hard, really. But that's the, that's the way of cycling and that's the way of life. You both know each other's racing tactics and how your strengths and weaknesses. How much did that play a part in today's race? Well, uh, I knew all along, no matter who had got in the final, I had a feeling it would be Dean, that uh, you know they'd have to have something like two seconds or more on me with three laps to go. Otherwise, I could beat them in the you know with the last kilo I've got. I don't know uh, you know what Dean thinks about that. Dean? Well, yeah, that's that's uh, the style of, of Colin is. Uh, He's, he's naturally a quick starter and uh, has a bit of a lull, lull in, the, in the middle and yeah, he's dynamite at the finish. And uh, I try to put as much pressure on him as I could in the, the middle part of the race. Um, but he really, he answered, you know, my uh, sort of, well, my question type of thing. I try to put as much pressure on him as I could. And uh, going into the last lap, I was a fraction in front. Um, but the last lap, you know, Collins just blown me apart. So, uh, that was it. Well, he's a great bike rider and he's an excellent sport, Dean Woods, but Martin Whiteley, I got the impression watching him in that interview that he was spitting chips and he'd love to get at Colin Sturgis again. Sure, but having a look at that race first, you really have to admire Colin Sturgis. What an athlete. I mean, he really came home in that last thousand metres and I don't think there was a bike rider there at the Worlds that could have done anything about that last kilometre. You could physically see him lift himself and I haven't seen that before at the end of a pursuit. After 4,000 metres, you don't think it's normal to be have that sort of resource, but that's where Colin is so well known. He has that amazing ability to finish strongly, and Dean was well aware of that before coming into the competi competition. So right here, Dean is leading by almost one second. He's yeah. increasing his lead with each half lap. This is where you see the lift from Sturgis. That's right, and uh, he really you can see his body getting very busy, every joint moving. He's got a smooth line. He's keeping his head down, watching the track, and he comes around. He's just so smooth, and he just gains that time, almost a second in half a lap. How brave was the Englishman because he left it very very late he must have great confidence in his own ability well you can see that you see that in the interview you see that in the way he rides he's a very confident rider and he came out knowing what the result would be